called the Scotsman. <laughs> <laughs> Is this, is this the long one? I, 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 can't, I can't wait. I can't wait for the accent. Is he ever going to get through it? I've got to try and... Nah, we're going to get to it, yeah. <laughs> well, a Scotsman... Why is his lips stuck together? Anybody have any clues? Why is his lips and all of a sudden got stuck together? <laughs> it's going to take as long as it takes. <laughs> oh, and I think it will take a while. Oh, By the way, that was a threat. <laughs> <laughs> well, a Scotsman clad in a kilt at the bar one evening fair, and one could tell by how he walked that he drank more than his share. Yeah. He fumbled round until he could no longer keep his feet, and he stumbled off into the grass to sleep beside the street. <laughs> and what was he <laughs> Any idea? No, no idea. <laughs> No idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try and I'll become an Edinburgh now. Okay, oh, good. Really? Thank God. All right. Oh, the the time Edinburgh two Edinburgh young Edinburgh. lovely girls just happened by. One says to the other with a twinkle in her eye, yeah. "See yon sleeping yeah. Scotsman, so strong and handsome built. I wonder if it's true what they don't wear beneath the kilt." Mm -hmm. They crept on the sleeping Scotsman, quiet as could be, lifted up his kilt about an inch so they could see. <laughs> And there Thanks, behold, for the ends of you, beneath his squatty skirt, <laughs> was nothing more than God had graced him upon his birth. They marvelled for a moment, then one said, We must be gone. Let's leave a present for our friend before we move along. As a gift, they left a blue silk ribbon tied into a bowl. Around the bonny star, the Scotsman's kilt did lift and show. <laughs> now the Scotsman walked to nature's call and stumbled towards the trees. Behind the bush he lifts his kilt and gawks at what he sees. And in a startled voice he says to what before his eyes, Oh lad, I don't know where you've been, but I see you won first prize. You know, I've always got no prize. Come on then, David, let's have yours. Let's get it over and done with. <laughs> this one took the age. I found this on the internet yesterday. So right. right, it's called The Girls. <clears throat> it's always about the boys, golf and the sport. Every year the tours and the results are what we report. For a change, let's celebrate the ladies this year. So this is for the girls, let's give them a cheer. Yeah. Now golf can, golf can be quite boring and even banal. No. To cheer it up, we need a caddy. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Grace and style, she was a complete act. But please, someone rip off that terrible pink spotty act. <laughs> she made me buy that. <laughs> and what about that old sweaty nag, Maggie? Sorry, sorry. And what about that old sweaty nag, Maggie takes for a ride? <laughs> I resemble that remark. <laughs> <laughs> it's now stuck in its box and can't go outside. With, him, you, with her new job at the doctor's, she can get any cure. But to get Jim into a medium, well, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a bitch. It's tiny with short, cropped hair and little legs. <laughs> so obedient, bright, cold nose and even begs. <laughs> but no, it's the dog. <laughs> I haven't even told that in the dark. It wasn't our ranch. Sorry. I hope your bite isn't worse than your bark. <laughs> it's said if you listen carefully, you can even hear a tick. It's like the internal workings of a computer. It goes click. <laughs> <laughs> you can ask her anything from maths to computer ease. But Cass' answer is white one. Oh, seven <laughs> young, please. <laughs> <laughs> now, who said she looks like an old pro? <laughs> oh, wrong, that's Mark. <laughs> it's Sarah's always on the go. With all that golf hockey, she must have big feet. <laughs> to become a podiatrist would be a great treat. 
<laughs> Another sporty woman <laughs> is Judy, we should definitely be old. It's not for badminton that she should win the gold. It's more serious and much harder work too. To marry Clem makes her a hero. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, I knew you would be pleased to end up in rhyme, you'd now never be teased. <laughs> For now you're immortalised like everyone wishes. You don't have to thank me, just give me the And a shocker when you knew. <laughs> <laughs> but good for a shag in the dark. Price! I want to hear Mark's play. Yeah. Mark's oh, play. Mark. Oh, it better not be brave, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I'll tell you what, Mark. What? I think you've got it. <laughs> <laughs> I think Bill would. William Wallace is a famous Scottish warrior. We know this. He loved Scotland and fought for their freedom. Oh, yes! Wow. Loving was he in all his heart, and without him, we would have all struggled against the English. So, Mum and Dad, you should respect him more, as the warrior tag he did war. <coughs> Love Scotland did he, Love Scotland he did. He fought for our lives on our own freedom bid. Yes! Freedom! <laughs> Well, one space, one space, space, space. Hang on. That was in a fist. That was a proper poem. <laughs> <laughs> is that allowed? Is that allowed a proper poem? It costs you. No, it costs you a loud proper poem. What's wrong with a fucking limerick, eh? That's what I want. Oh, what one that you just made up? We've <laughs> had all that trouble to make it rhyme, and you just come out here and make a bit of proper hardy dog. Hardy dog, proper poetry. Probably by someone famous. 